Welcome back to my channel. I have another recipe for you today. It is actually my own version of Galinha com Ivilhas. I can't really say it well, but I actually will not have any chicken in this recipe because I don't really care for the chicken, but I will tell you when is the time to put in the chicken and all that kind of stuff. So let's check out the ingredients and continue watching. For this recipe, you will need green peas, I couldn't find mine, so this is what I had. You'll need one chorizo, some eggs for after in there, as well as olive oil. If you'd like, you can add onion as well. And I forgot to show it here, but I do use my own pimenta moida as well, my pepper paste. And of course, if you'd like, you can always add in whatever you like. I usually like adding in lentils as well toward the end. Um, to give some extra nutrients to the meal. Traditionally, this meal is with chicken, so I will let you know when you can add in the chicken as well if you do plan to use it. It also makes the cooking time a little bit longer. For this meal, you can use fresh or frozen. I usually have frozen ready, but fresh is always better, of course. We're gonna start off in the pot. You wanna add in your olive oil. I had cut up some chorizo, I added it in as well as a scoop of pimenta molida. You can also add in your onions if you'd prefer as well. Add those in now. Once you see that the shirisu and the pimenta and everything, you know, is combining well, and the smells are just amazing. That's probably the best time that you wanna add in water. If you are adding chicken pieces to this, it would be at this point where you add in the chicken pieces so that they also can cook with the chorizo, with these flavors. Put a, We're gonna let this water come to a boil now. And once it does, then we will add in our green peas, or in my case, my mixed veggie bag <laughs> and then let that cook once that's cooked we will start the next process of adding in our eggs we're gonna add in our eggs but we're gonna do it one at a time and I'm also putting them and opening them on the side in a separate bowl and then dropping them in so that way they can poach in this water and get the flavors of the food and it brings it all together. Make sure you taste test if you need more salt, pepper. I would add it here at this point. And then your meal is ready. It's ready to be served. You can add a beautiful piece of bread to it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.